Unless you're an avoid cloud watcher, you may have never even give a second thought to the various types of clouds and the shapes and patterns they form high above your head. While you've no doubt seen some of these before, there is a good chance others will be completely new. In fact, some are so rare that you'll probably never see them apart from lists such as this one. The cool part? Each cloud type has a different meaning. These are 25 unbelievable cloud formations. Number 25. Roll cloud. Often associated with thunderstorms or cold fronts, these clouds are usually low and tube-shaped. Number 24. Shelf clouds. Also associated with cold fronts and thunderstorms, shelf clouds differ from roll clouds in that they are usually attached to the parent cloud directly above. Number 23. Skull cloud formation. You can quite clearly see the image of an evil face or a skull, with pronounced eye sockets and nose and mouth some online commenters pointed out, how similar it was to when Voldemort space appeared in the sky, and the Harry Potter movies and it's hard to disagree this of course is just another visual illusion, where the clouds features just so happen to be like those of a face so. Number 22. Mammatus clouds. These rare pouch-like clouds usually form after the thunderstorm has passed. Contrary to common knowledge, they do not indicate an imminent tornado, although they do look ominous. Number 21. Nacreous clouds. Sometimes referred to as mother of pearl clouds. These can be found at altitudes of up to 20 miles. Usually seen in polar regions near the poles, they are known for their iridescent colors. Number 20. Pileus clouds. Also known as scarf or cap clouds, these high-flying clouds generally hover over the top of larger cumulonimbus clouds. Number 19. Actinoform clouds. Hard to see with the naked eye, this formation is best observed from space. In satellite images, they have a distinct leaf or wheel-like pattern that sets them apart from the background. Number 18. Dragon cloud formation. It had a huge snout dark eyes, and had an angry or about it. As the image was captured in the evening, as the sun was setting the light creates a fire-colored hue behind it that draws opus to the mouth and the flames and makes it seem all the more real. We are constantly adding more people to the Top Buys production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 17. Pyrocumulus cloud. Sometimes called fire clouds, these dense cumuliform clouds are associated with fires or volcanic activity. Number 16. Undulatus aspiratus. Nine years after first being submitted, this odd cloud formation was finally accepted by the International Cloud Atlas of the World Meteorological Organization in 2017. It was the first edition since 1951. What's unique about these clouds is that they are undulate, or wave up and down, and quite honestly, they are kind of creepy and ominous. These clouds are typically low-lying and form in wave-like weather fronts. Number 15. Cumulus Arcus. Although both rolling and shelf clouds fall into this category, there are several other less famous types as well. Number 14. Human Face Cloud Formation. Human face one of the creepiest things you can ever see in a cloud is what appears to be the shape of a human face. Duty 16 Some incredible footage was recorded of one floating across the countryside as the ruling storm clouds moved towards the sunlight. The distinct facial features are lit up in the nose. Number 13. Cirrus spasatus. The highest of the primary cloud genera, this cirrus variety is formed out of fine wisps of ice crystals. Number 12. Contrails. Although they are not naturally occurring cloud formations, these vapor trails are technically a type of cirrus cloud known as cirrus aviaticus. Number 11. Morning glory clouds. This rare phenomenon is hard to observe due to its unpredictable nature. In fact, the only place where it occurs consistently is northern Australia. Number 10. Billow clouds. 
also known as wave clouds or windrow clouds, they generally run parallel but can also appear to interweave with one another. Number 9. Cirrostratus nebulosus. Formed by rising air, these clouds are hard to see unless illuminated in just the right amount of sunlight. Coincidentally, this lighting typically forms a halo. Number 8. Cirrus uncinus. In Latin their name means, curly hooks. They are generally very sparse in the sky and extremely thin. Number 7. Cumulonimbus incus. With its characteristic flat, anvil-shaped top, this cloud can easily form into supercells and generate severe weather patterns such as tornadoes. Number 6. Punch hole cloud. Also known as fall streak hole. These anomalies are formed when the water temperature in the clouds is below freezing but the water hasn't frozen yet. Quite often they are associated with UFO sightings. Number 5. Indoor clouds. It may seem impossible, but in fact, several artists have used various techniques of creating the ideal conditions for indoor clouds to form as part of their artwork. Number 4. Lenticular clouds. These stationary, lens-shaped clouds usually form when moist air flows over the side of a mountain range. Number 3. Mushroom clouds. Although typically associated with nuclear weapons, any large blast is likely to produce a mushroom cloud, including volcanic explosions and meteorite impacts. Number 2. Altocumulus castellanus. Also known as jellyfish clouds due to their interesting appearance, these form when moist air gets trapped between two layers of dry air. Number 1. Noctilucent clouds. Possibly the least understood cloud formation in the atmosphere, these clouds are also the highest. Residing at an altitude of over 80 kilometers, they literally sit on the verge of space and are usually only seen closer to the poles. To see them, however, conditions have to be just right with the sun below the horizon providing the right angle of illumination. Please subscribe to my channel to get more videos.